This is Will from CleanAmmoCans.com and I'm going to show you how to pack seven four pocket bandoliers of 5.56 ammunition into a 50 cal ammo can. You've likely noticed that most 5.56 ammo cans are labeled for 840 rounds of ammunition and current military issued ammunition comes inside these cans on seven four pocket bandoliers. Each bandolier holds 120 rounds for a total of, you guessed it, 840 rounds. The problem isn't doing the math, but actually getting the bandoliers into the can. There are a couple ways to get the bandoliers into the can, but if you use the methods we are going to demonstrate here today, which is the same as the ammunition factory, you can easily pull the ammunition out of the can using the bandolier straps, which will conveniently be tucked in on top of the can. We're going to take our nice clean ammo can here. Well, I went ahead and already packed the bandoliers with the proper amount of ammunition along with the cardboard inserts. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So first thing, I want to kind of let them let the cardboard hit all the way to the bottom here and then we're going to fold the inserts just like this. I'm going to leave the tails or the, the handles and we're going to put those to one side of the can. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do this, the, the handle or the strap to the opposite side of the can. So as you can see right here, I'm putting them in long ways with the can. Do the same thing right here, fold it up, put the strap to one side. So if I'm putting the, the ammunition on the left side of the can, I want the strap to the left side and I'll tell you why later, really show you. So I'm going to do that all the way up, roll it up four times, okay, make sure that's in there nice and tight. All right, so you're probably wondering, there's not a whole lot of room left in this can, how in the world are you going to get that fifth bandolier in here? Well, I'm going to show you. So you want to take the straps of these top two, these two, kind of pull them out just a little bit like that, take another bandolier. It's already loaded up and fold this one kind of like not by fours but by twos like this and you want the strap facing towards the back of the can so I'll throw it over your shoulder and then you want to push all of these together at the same time so we got those other two kind of or protruding out a little bit more and we're gonna shove this guy in there nice and tight just like this. So grab those, pull it out just a little bit so they kind of move it at one piece and then push this guy down. Now they're all kind of even and then just push all three of them down just like that. So keep the straps, make sure to keep the straps on the opposite sides of the can. I know we're kind of getting Looks like spaghetti dinner here on Saturday night with the family, with all these things going around. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fold them in half, put the straps facing towards the can, or towards the back of the can, like that. Then we're gonna take, fold it half ways again, like that. So, they're all nice and tight inside there. We're going to take our straps then so you can easily access them. We're going to pull them all together like you're putting a ponytail in. Just like this. Twist them around. And then there's a little gap right here. Now it's heavy. But there's a little gap right here. We're going to put the straps to all the bandoliers right inside there. Kind of tuck it in so there's nothing hanging out over the edge. You don't want to really, might compromise the seal. So put it in there like that. Take the top off, take the top, put it back on your can, shut it up, and you're ready to rock and roll. And that's how to pack seven loaded, 120 round, four pocket, 5.56 five, bandoliers into a 50 caliber ammo can. Please visit cleanammocans.com to check out our wide array of ammo cans, bandoliers, and stripper clips to assemble your very own military combat pack. And like always, we'll see you out there.